When the holidays roll around, you're looking for a perfect and easy breakfast to make because let's face it, on Christmas morning, there's a lot of chaos, right? And so what do you make for breakfast that will really complement the day and get everyone into the kitchen? Well, what I like to do is my Christmas morning French toast casserole, but I make it the night before because this is designed to sit in the refrigerator overnight and really drink up all those great, great flavors. And to really make it holiday, I add some delicious fresh eggnog. So what we're gonna do is get busy getting our bread layered in and we're gonna use a nine by 13 that we've already greased with butter. Now this is French bread, but you can use any bread that you love. I really love using challah bread in this recipe or brioche, but those are egg bread, so that just makes this even more rich. So these have already been cut into pieces and it doesn't have to be fancy or pretty, just make sure they all get nestled down inside the baker and they're ready to roll. Now we're gonna make the custard that goes inside. Now I've already cracked eight eggs into this bowl and to that we're going to add two cups of fresh delicious eggnog. This really starts to make it taste and smell like the holidays. So in goes the eggnog, nice and fresh and rich. Then we're going to add a cup of whole milk. Then sugar. Then we're going to go in with beautiful vanilla extract and a little cinnamon and a little nutmeg. All the flavors and spices of the season. And then just a little pinch of salt for balance. Now grab your whisk and get in here. And I always find that with this dish so you don't end up wearing the ingredients, keep your whisk tight in the middle of the bowl. That'll start to break up the yolks. It'll also help to incorporate all that uh, beautiful spice into the custard mixture. So keep giving this a little stir. Now, this is looking good, smelling great. Excellent. Now we'll put that down. And let's go back to our nine by 13 baker. Then we're going to pour this mixture right over top of the bread mixture. This is quick and easy. All the spices are in there, the eggs, the milk, the eggnog. This is so rich and delicious and perfect. Very nice, beautiful. So all that goes inside, ready to go. And here's the best part. You do this on Christmas Eve or the night before, and then you park this in the refrigerator. And this is going to allow all the bread to soak in that custard mixture. And then we're going to make a topping to go on top of this before it goes into the oven. So this is nice and chilled and just out of the refrigerator. And we're going to make the topping for this now. This is so easy and adds to the sweetness and the richness of the recipe. Now I'm going to take a bowl, pop this right in front, and we're going to add in a cup of light brown sugar. Now this has been sitting for a few minutes, so I'm going to break that up a little bit. Then we're going to take room temperature softened butter and pop that inside. Oop, one more. Then we're going to put in a little nutmeg. Again, some of the same great seasonings that we have in the custard. Ground cinnamon. To help loosen this up a little bit, some light corn syrup. If you don't have light corn syrup in your grocery store, you can buy dark corn syrup. You could even use maple syrup at this stage if you wanted. And then finally, we're going to add to that some chopped pecans. Now this becomes the topping. Now you could go in here with a spatula, but I always say the best two tools you have in the kitchen are attached, your hands. So make sure they're nice and clean and get in here and just start working that softened butter into the mixture. It's gonna react pretty quickly. And you just keep working this until all that butter and all of that sugar and all the spices and all the pecans are all mixed in. Remember, since this is mostly butter, it's gonna melt right down into that casserole and be perfect. It'll also create a crunchy topping for the casserole too. And when this comes out on Christmas morning, you're not gonna have any trouble coaxing people to the breakfast table because their noses will lead them, right? So take this and now just dollop it right on top. There's no rhyme or reason here and you don't have to be pretty. With the holidays being so busy and we're all trying to get a thousand things done in record time, it's nice when it doesn't have to be so perfect, right? So get this in here, pop it up all around. Just make sure you have little dollops covering most of the top of the casserole. So my oven's already preheated to 350 degrees. This is gonna go in for about 35 to 40 minutes until lightly golden brown. Can you imagine how nice this is gonna be on Christmas morning? 
packages have all been unwrapped. Santa's been there, and it's time for breakfast. Now, all we need is a little bit of garnish. Now, some red maraschino cherries become the holly berries. If you can find green maraschino cherries, you can also do red and green, which is a lot of fun. But if you can't find the green maraschino cherries, you can always add a little fresh mint. This adds some beautiful color. And you can also chew on a little bit of it if you want to freshen your breath. Beautifully done. Festive for the holidays and so very simple.